Hello, dear YouTubers. Uh, let's just pray before I tell you anything, and let us connect in the Holy Spirit so that we can we can understand truly what the Word of Jesus Christ is saying to the Spirit, and the, the, let the Holy Spirit bring the Word of God in Jesus' name. So, um, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come to you, Father, in the name of let your powerful Holy Spirit manifest in this place and upon each one of us who's listening and praying at the same time, Father, in the name of Jesus, cover them with the blood of Jesus, fill them with your Holy Spirit, and let your Holy Spirit manifest unto each one of them. Let them be born again Christians in the name of Jesus, in the Spirit and truth. Father, let us be able to follow you with all, all of our hearts all of our hearts and minds and, and concentrated in the Lord, Father, with our daily activities. Father, let us always glorify your name and let us be healed and delivered and freed from demons and devils in the name of Jesus, Father. Wash us with the blood of Jesus if we have sinned against you, Father. Forgive us of our sins as we repent of our sins, of all of our sins in the name of Jesus. And let all your name, Jesus Christ, be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory God. Hallelujah. <coughs> so yeah, today today's message it's basically, you know, about the Holy Spirit. You know, the time right now, this time period of, of God's history is a time of Holy Spirit. Jesus, Holy Spirit, Father is all three in one. The first uh, Old Testament, Old Testament was all about the Father. And the New Testament is all about Jesus Christ. And after Jesus Christ, it's all about the Holy Spirit. And right now, it's the time of the Holy Spirit. But not many people know they don't really know anything but the Holy Spirit. If you if you if you drink the water that Jesus gives, you'll never be thirsty again of, of the worldly worldly thirst. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. Once you're baptized in the Holy Spirit, then <clears throat> then you'll receive the knowledge of Jesus Christ truly and really have a relationship because the Holy Spirit will bring the word of Jesus Christ. Into your, into your soul, you'll be able to know Jesus Christ, you'll be able to hear His voice, because the Holy Spirit will tell you what Jesus is speaking from heaven. <clears throat> what is born again? Jesus said in uh, John chapter 3, uh, when, the, when Nicodemus came to him, Jesus said, Truly, truly, I tell you, except the man is born again by water and the Spirit, one cannot enter the kingdom of God. You cannot go to heaven if you're not born again by the Spirit of God and by water baptism. The water baptism is when you're when you when you receive Jesus Christ into your life as as a salvation as your salvation, right? That's you've received the received the, the name of Jesus Christ and you're baptized in water. That's water baptism remission, remission of your sins. But Jesus says, unless a man is born again. By the Spirit of God, you shall not enter the kingdom of God. What is what is that thing? That's talking about second baptism, which is the being born again by the Holy Spirit. Because by the Holy Spirit, your life will change from the wickedness that you're living in to the new light. Without this transformation, you know, you're, you're going to still do the same things that you've done, drinking, smoking, doing everything that you did before, sleeping around with girls, even though you have the knowledge of Jesus Christ, even though you profess His name, you know, you, you will still be do, doing those bad things. And you might not even go to church saying that, oh yeah, I just believe in Jesus Christ and I'm saved. This is not the will of God. The will of God is for you to be a true child of God by being born again by the Spirit of God who transforms you and transforms you one by one you know, in, unto perfection. And what, what is, a, what is a, one of the biggest signs that follows those who are born again? Those who believe my name shall first, what? Cast out demons in my name and shall speak in new tongues. That's what Jesus said to those who believe and, and were, were to follow the words of Jesus Christ. If he says, you know, those who believe will cast out demons, then we'll cast, we should cast out demons in Jesus' name and what? And, and we'll speak in new tongues. But a lot of people say, oh, I don't understand what it means. What does that, what does a tongue mean? It does nothing. It does nothing for me. I don't even know why, 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 why somebody speaks some unintelligible language. It is not an unintelligible language. It has intelligence of the Holy Spirit, first of all. And 
it's like a Morse code. You know, it's like you don't know what Morse code is like. But back in the day, World War Two, around there, they used to send signals like do 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 like you know signals like, like da 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 da, and then and there's a message, but nobody understands it unless some people decode it. They they don't understand it. Just as the the Morse code need decoding, Holy Spirit language can also be decoded by the Holy Spirit gift of interpretation of tongues. There's the gift of interpretation of tongues. And if you have that gift by the Holy Spirit, you'll be able to understand what the Holy Spirit is saying because it's the same Spirit. It's the same Holy Spirit who's bringing the Word. And what is that doing? You're, you're talking to the Father directly. Directly. Your prayers are reaching to the heaven directly because God is praying for you on the behalf of you perfectly. Whatever you need, however you need it, God is bringing that thing to you as you're praying in the Spirit of God, trusting on Him, trusting on the trusting in the power of God that that you have you have the it's like it's like based based on your faith. If you do not do not even have faith, you will not be praying in tongues, nor nor need, need nor you you think you need it because you don't trust in the Lord. You trust in yourself. You're, we're not to trust ourselves, but we're to trust in the Lord and whatever God gave you. He says, pray in tongues, speak in tongues, then speak in tongues. Just trust in the Lord and you'll see all the results. There's like some events, like uh, some problems like occurred in, in you, like or some you have some disease. You don't know how to pray for. It. You just say, oh, just heal me. And you don't even know what the, what, the, what the circumstance is. If you pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit knows what kind of disease that is, how it should be cured, and sends God's all the message, oh, cure like this, give him, give him this, give him that mind to be diligent, make him to eat healthy food, and make him to read the Bible, and make him all this stuff, and then it and transforms you. The Holy Spirit transforms you onto a new life being. That, that, that it was not possible by flesh. By fleshly work, it was not possible, but it's only possible by the Holy Spirit of God, and and, and everything like this will be will be in the same manner of any kind of thing that you're going through. If you cannot solve how to be how to be meek, how to be patient, how to be how to be um, happy person, you don't know how to do it. But when you pray in tongues for three four hours and sending God whatever you need in the power, the Holy Spirit pours into you filling you with the will of God, the purpose of God in your life, then you'll be what? You'll be, you'll be happy, you'll be meek, you'll be not sinning, you'll be, be defeating the devil and their temptations, you'll be binding the demons and devils, and you'll be casting them up by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the word of knowledge of when you read the Bible, it will all come alive to you. And you'll remember things, you'll remember verses without even trying. You'll just, you'll just, you know, look at the Bible, read, and then you'll, you'll remember it. Because by the remembrance, Holy Spirit will bring you the Word of God. And when the devil comes and attacks you with, Oh, see, oh, you're not going to be successful. And then you'll bring the Word of God. By the power of God, you'll be successful. You know, so, Jesus, Jesus will remind you of anything that you need to know. So that is, this is very important for a Christian life. A lot of people say that, oh well, I asked for a gift of tongues, I never receive it. You know, some people, God, God likes to test people. God likes to test how your faith is gonna be, how strong of a, of a person you are. So he's he's giving you little trials, and then and then normally people give up, give up in the middle, and not receive it. Listen, anything takes time. If you're if you're getting a license for drive driving test, right? You need to go through a driving driving school and be properly educated and then when you take a test, you'll be confident to pass the driving exam. Just like that, how you're going to get get a driving license, you are also going to have to go through some trials that God wants to be learn God wants to go through, learn the spiritual battles with fasting and praying and seeking the Lord. And then God will give you the speaking in tongues, gift of tongues. Some people are already already on different levels. Some people might might be on the level to receive the gift of gift of the Holy Spirit with meekness because they're not arrogant. They're like childlike already. So God gives it to them. But some people are are very educated and very smart, and and it takes takes a little bit of time to break down their their pride and become like a child crying out to the Lord for for I don't know how long, but but crying out to the Lord until God says, okay, I'll give it to you. And some people have received it after three, four months of, 
a, a, I seen it with my own eyes. And, and some people receive it right away, or it takes five day, five days to receive it. it. It depends on a person, what kind of level they are, what kind of Christian level they are. I don't know your level, neither neither nobody else. But when you when you pray to the Father asking for the gift, God will not, not, not despise you. You asking for the Holy Spirit, but He'll give you the Holy Spirit as you persistently ask and and persistently seek the Lord and and as you give yourself to the Lord God will give it, give himself to you and you as you as you kill all your pride kill all the arrogance and 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 ask as like a child oh Jesus please give it to me he you gave it to him you gave it to them you gave it to this person oh please give me the gift of speaking tongues father please if it's truly yours I want it too I want it I want it I want it how can you give other people and not give it to me? Please give it to me, Father. Please give me so I can also do the will of the Father and be your servant and, and be, be entering the kingdom of God with this power, with the tool, tool that we need. Now, if you're doing the work of God and if you want to do the work of God, God will give you tools that you that you use to be able to do a lot of things. When you make up, when a farmer is farming the land, you need a lot of tools, not just one. That's why there's nine gifts of the Holy Spirit to the to the people who, who are evangelizing. To the people who are evangelizing to many other people, God will give more tools, more tools. Oh, since he's still being faithful to me, I'll give him the gift of healing, I'll give him the gift of miracles, I'll give him a uh, gift of prophecy, I'll give him everything because he is using my gift properly. God has already given you the power of the name of Jesus so you can start praying unto the Father, reading the Bible, and praying and evangelizing and prophesying unto the people but but if you're not faithful and evangelizing you don't even have any passion why would God give you the gifts of the Holy Spirit when you're not even being faithful to the little what is faithful to the little reading the Bible praying you know talking about Jesus to your friends and and not being ashamed of him then God will answer anything that that you request because you need these gifts of the Holy Spirit to fight in this last days in the last days there will be a lot of knowledge increase and and the knowledge of the the Lord is also increasing because this is, this is the end of days people you have to realize this end of days and a lot of knowledge of the world is expanding and also the knowledge of, of God is expanding and people are learning in a faster 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 rate even using YouTube like this to teach you the power of the Holy Spirit now whoever those those people who whoever grabs it belongs to the kingdom the Bible Bible clearly tells us those who those who catch the kingdom by force and take it by force belongs the kingdom. God lets the people take the kingdom of God by force because God is not a pusher. God is not gonna push you off the edge and 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 make you make you a Christian and make you pray and make you chastise in, in every way to 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 beat you down and forcefully, you know, make you a servant of God. He's not gonna do that. God is a respecter of persons and he will he, he will he will not go against your own will of wanting to serve God. He will let you do whatever you want, and and he will let those who who serve God do what they want to serve the Lord. It's, it depends all upon you. You know, it's like Paul says. You know, whether you have time or not, evangelize, evangelize, spread the word of God, spread the good news of Jesus Christ, because the time is short. A lot of people are just falling to hell, and we're the ones who are supposed to stop them by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the only way to stop them is by praying. By praying and praying and then go talk to them and you'll receive the word of God to tell them what, what they need, how they need it, and what, what 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 should they do and lead them out of the of the desert of Egypt. We, we are children of God and we are to be like Jesus Christ. But if you do not have the Holy Spirit baptism, you cannot do the works of Jesus and do greater things than Him because it would be impossible to do things by flesh because what is born of the Spirit is Spirit but what is born of the flesh is flesh. You know, a, a donkey can only have children of donkey but but the children, children of God can make other, other donkeys children of God because, because of the Spirit of God they carry that makes them a son of God. 
We are children of God and we're sons and daughters of God just like Jesus is. Jesus is the one who gave us the authority, gave us his name, and gave us the power to do so. But if you're gonna stay stay being the don donkey, you donkey ain't gonna change no donkey. Okay, they're, they're just gonna produce donkeys. Only children of God can produce children of God. Do, do you understand the concept? Only the children of God can create children of God. That means only the people who are born again by the Spirit of God can bear children who are born again by the Spirit of God. And, and that, is, that is the only way and that is the, there is no other way how to make other non-believers Christians. It's only by the Spirit of God. I don't even know what I'm saying because the Holy Spirit is, is, is bringing up the Word and I'm just being a tool for Him. You just, I just pray, 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 ask the Lord and God, God brings the Word onto, your, onto the table for you to eat. And, and God wants you to what? Pray in the Holy Spirit, casting out demons and devils. If you're, if you're depressed, in the name of Jesus, command with the Word. Because your words are like the uh, word, words of God. Because by the Spirit of God, now you, now you have the power of, of your tongue to speak life and death onto your situations as well as other situations. If, if you're having depression, in the name of Jesus, I command depression, get out! In Jesus' name, if, if, if you have sicknesses, in the name of Jesus, command dirty demon sickness, get out! In Jesus' name, get off this body! In the name of Jesus, that's how you're supposed to do it. For two, two to three gathered in the name of Jesus, there is Jesus Christ. And you are the church because, because of what? Not your flesh, because of the Spirit of God. Wherever the Spirit of God, there is the kingdom of God. And wherever two, three are gathered in Jesus' name, the all, all three of them, born again Holy Spirit people, gather together to share the word of God. That is the church. It could be in the tent. It could be in a building. But building without the Spirit of God is not a church. Let me tell you again. Building without the Holy Spirit direction or without Holy Spirit, it's just a building. doesn't matter. It has a sign that says it's a church. It's not a church if there is no Holy Spirit. So if there is a preacher, pastor, whatever, and, and there are pe people in the church and they're not praying, but they're just talking about worldly things and how to smile good and how to live a little best life of your now, if there's no Spirit of God, there is. No, no God, and that is not a church. The church is what? Church is where the prayers are gathered and prayers are sent to heaven. That is a church. We should gather around and pray together in the Spirit of God. Then that is a church. That is a real service. That is a real praise of God because the Holy Spirit works in them that, that trust in the Lord, that is looking towards heaven, that is not carnally minded but spiritually minded. Gathering the people together for the purpose of God. To do God's will of evangelizing. Wherever the Spirit of God is not in, it's just a body. If you're a Christian, professing Jesus Christ's name, but do not have the Holy Spirit in you, neither you know that you have the Holy Spirit, then you should maybe doubt that maybe you don't have the Holy Spirit and ask the Lord for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Gifts of the gift, gift and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because Paul said, I earnestly desire that you that you desire the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I earnestly want you to have the gifts of the Holy Spirit because it is it's very important to do the work of God. All the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. The tenth one being gift of love. The gift of love without being inspired by the Holy Spirit is like nothing. You cannot produce love just just by yourself. You need the Spirit of God to induce the love and to have a true love for the lost souls, lost people on the earth. And if you're not a believer, if you're not a if you're not a born again a Holy Spirit person, then ask and you'll receive. Just ask the Lord with sincerity, Lord Jesus, I come to you today and I give myself to you, Lord. I give my life to you. I surrender myself to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we come to you, Father. As a, as a sinner, Father, forgive us of our sins. Wash us with the blood of Jesus. And let us be born again, Holy Spirit, filled people in the name of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit sh sh should come to you anytime. But, but desire to be born again. Because you need to be born again to go into heaven in the first place. Heaven and hell is real. If, if heaven and hell wasn't real, 
why would I be doing this? I'll just go out there and have fun. Okay, that's, that's what I'll be doing. I'll commit every kind of sin, everything that I want to do, I'll do them. But because Jesus is run, because I've seen heaven and hell, that's why I'm doing this. Because I know Jesus is so real that I'm doing this. We went to, we went to a trip to Orlando uh, last week uh, with me and my wife. I went there and they're saying it's going to rain. And I knew, I, I just knew, all I need to do is pray and it will be sunny. So all I did was I just started praying and I asked all of them to pray in tongues because all of them now receive the gift of tongues and now they're able to pray in tongues. So they all we all prayed in the gift of the Spirit and you know, nothing, no, no rain, it was clear sky. But when we got there, it was full of clouds and when we prayed, the sky cleaned up, on the angels of God, you know, cleaned up the sky, the, the air and it was just sunny. And there was no cloud, no rain whatsoever. We were looking at the stars at night. And we were looking at the moon. It was so shining because there's no cloud. And I'm just telling you, and, and, it's, and it happened again. We, we They had another report. Oh, it's going to be rainy. We just prayed again. And no rain. It's, 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 you, you will not have anything to worry about because the Holy Spirit will bring you the confidence and the strength of faith. When you, when you pray in tongues, the Spirit of God, it says in Jude verse 19 to 20, around there, if you pray in the Spirit of God, you get the most holy faith, most powerful faith that is springing up from Jesus Himself onto you. So you'll be with the faith of Jesus Christ, pleasing the Father, because you cannot please the Father without faith. And the faith comes by hearing the Word, Word of God. And you heard the Word, so your faith must have been strengthened. But again, the most holy faith comes from praying in tongues. Because why? The Holy Spirit will bring you faith as you pray in tongues. Hours and two hours. A lot of people will mock you. A lot of people will persecute you. But, but the blessings of God does not come except... <clears throat> but the blessings of God will come also with persecutions. So that means you need to receive persecution because you're preaching the word of God unto people. And that is just a normal thing. So do not be afraid, but be rejoicing in the Holy Spirit. Because He'll bring you peace, He'll bring you confidence, He'll bring you the memory and what to say, how to say it unto the people. So pray, pray to the Father and ask God, Oh Jesus, Lord, I want to go evangelize unto people. I don't know who to go for. And God will give you a picture or a vision or, or dream or whatever. Go talk to them about Jesus Christ. And as you pray and being filled with the Holy Spirit, you'll know what to say, how to say it. And, and the words of God will just flow through. Just start with saying, you know what? If you want to be saved, you got to be born again. Just talk to them like that. Just talk to them. The Holy Spirit is, is here right now. You need the Holy Spirit right now. You need to be born again to be a changed person. That's it. So, <clears throat> I pray that everybody will be saved in Jesus' name, Father. Please convict them, Father. Please fill them with their Holy Spirit. I bind every demonic spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. Through the demonic spirits, get out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I fill them by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I bring light into their family. And I bring light into their life in Jesus' name. I command. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. Burn every iniquity. Burn every chaff in the name of Jesus. Let every people of God be born again in the Spirit and in truth serving the Lord, praising the Lord, and glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ so that they can receive a lot of lot of heavenly treasures and rewards and let, let them be safe, Father. I assign angels to them in the name of Jesus. Send your powerful, mighty angels unto them, worrying angels, comforting angels, healing angels. In the name of Jesus, I send them by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we, we, we pray. All the glory to Jesus and all the praise unto Father. We give you all the all the glory into your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. And we give you glory. Amen. So just, just continue walking. Path is, path is narrow. So, so get rid of all the trash that you need to get rid of. And be clean. And be righteous and holy. Because without holiness, no one will see God. And we'll be like, Lord, Lord, why did not... Did we, did we cast out demons in your name? Did we uh, do miracles and wonders in your name? And Jesus will say, I never knew you. You who practice lawlessness, you who break the laws, you break the commandments of God, you are rebellious children, I don't know you. Because rebellious always belongs to the devil, and the devil's children are rebellious. 
So therefore, be submissive to the word of God. Be submissive, submissive to one another, and also, also if they if 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 the other ones tells you to go, go, do wrong things, don't don't do that because you're you're being submissive to God first. So God first, and then submit to others. But without if if it's if it's not His will, then do not do it, no matter who that person is. Okay, in the name of Jesus, I bless you. Glory to God.